Guys, welcome back to the channel and to episode four of the Road to World Tom Attack Challenge 2024. Four. And I'm gonna be updating you and telling you what's going on with this gray heap of sh I shouldn't say that, it's my baby. And it's taken lots of my money. I'll be updating you with what's going on with the skyline, the build. Did I get accepted to World Tom Attack? What's happening there? What's happening with this car? Why is it still gray? Why is it not finished? Tell me why. Basically what's going on and what will be happening. So strap in, it's gonna be a short one, but it's gonna be a good one. And if you like race cars, skylines, and all the alike, this is for you. Don't forget to subscribe, let's do it. I say we jump right in, so let's jump right in. But before I do, I'll be posting YouTube videos every single week, most likely at the end of the week, about cars, motorsport racing, filmmaking, or anything related to my journey to becoming a professional race car driver and film director slash maker. So don't forget to subscribe. The Skyline, my money pit. People ask, how many house deposits has it taken? Depends what year you wanna buy a house in. If you wanna buy a house in Sydney in 2024, zero. If you wanna buy a house in Perth back in 1935, maybe a couple of hundred. Anyway. The question you all are thinking and wanting to ask is, did I get accepted into World Time Attack 2024? The answer is no. But let's roll back to the beginning of this journey and as to why. So in the beginning, I decided to start this journey build project with the paint and panel side of things. And the reason for that is number one, the car was not one color and a lot of panel work or panels had to be modified to make it a Time Attack car. Though like any good project, as you go through it, you think to myself, oh, while I'm here, I'll do this. I could do this. I could do A, B, C, D, all the way to Z. And that is what happened. For example, many people asked, hey, are you going to be changing your recorders, making them wider while you're going through all of this? I thought, no way, that's beyond my skill level. I don't really feel like cutting into factory guards because you know the rest of the car is factory. But then after speaking to some professionals, mechanics who build cars, work on cars, high performance cars, one of them actually said, oh, so you're gonna make your tires wider, your wheels wider? I thought, well, no. They're like, well, you're making almost 600 kilowatts of power and you're running 265s. That, that, that's not going to be enough. So then a couple of days later, I got a message from my sponsor, Carbonetics, and they said, hey, are you interested in doing a GTR conversion kit? Now, I personally had never planned in my life on doing a GTR conversion kit on this car or if I was on any Skyline. Because I'm of the belief, if I want a car to look like a GDR, I will go buy one. Are they worth a quarter million dollars? No, they're not. Let's be real. GDR owners, I'm sorry, but your car's not worth a quarter million dollars. It's a fucking glorified Datsun. It's worth 80 grand at best. But in saying that, am I going to take advantage of these ridiculous prices if I sell this? Yes. So I thought, you know what? This would actually help with my traction issues. I can then make the rear quarters wider, maybe do a wider body. I don't know, so then that put a pause on my paint project. Which leads me to a similar aspect is the aerodynamics. Now, I expected aero not to be cheap, but then when I got the price, I was shocked. For those of you wondering how much could it cost? Well, starting price is 30,000 Australian dollars for an entire custom front splitter, rear diffuser, side skirts, and flat bottom. That's starting. So realistically, you're probably looking around 40 to 50,000 Australian dollars. The way I explain it, when I tell people, they're like, that's ridiculous. Who wouldn't spend that much money on a car? Having a time attack car with no aero is like playing football in thongs. You can do it, not very well, and you look like a quit. That, and there's also a very long wait, and by the time panels arrive, it's done, I'm, I'm not gonna, get the aero done in time. Like I'm gonna be well and truly past that. The other is I just plain out had other commitments, personal commitments, overseas trips, that just, this, this didn't take priority, which some of you would say, oh, but Jonesy, you know, how is, how are you not gonna prioritize this if you want to, you know, be a professional race car driver? Well, go-karting. That's honestly the main nuts and bolts as to why I'm not in time attack this year. And you're thinking, okay, well, where to from here? You're just gonna let it sit here for the next 12 months? Maybe, no. So basically what will be happening is for the panel side of things, that's just, um, I, I can't do anything until panels arrive from Carbonetics for the GDR conversion, rear quarters, everything. I, I can't do anything with that. I, I literally can't. So there are things I can do, a few engine mods, uh, the all drive doesn't work. And one thing to spare you guys and so you can actually watch everything in sequence 
all at once or very quickly. I made the mistake of starting this series before they're actually finished or close to completion. And obviously, as you've seen, hurdles and stuff comes up and then you can't actually finish the series or the series takes longer than you expect. So in regards to the skyline and content for this on YouTube, unless it's the videos from an educational standpoint or have people ask, you know, what my hot side setup is, you know, turbo, manifold, all that kind of stuff. Unless it's something related to that, there's not gonna be any skyline content until the series is done. Probably thinking, oh no, what are we gonna see? You'll see others car content, both mine and others, event coverage, filmmaking, content creation. Again, if you're not sure what you're gonna see on this channel, this video will tell you everything you need to know. So, have I started already? Yes, I have, but you won't see it until it is done. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you guys and everything you do, and I'll see you next time.